What's up guys, Next Level YGO Strats back with more single card discussions where we talk about some of the cards that have impacted Yu-Gi-Oh throughout the years. Today's card, a staple spell card for over a decade, Book of Moon. Book of Moon is an old card, first being released in Verona Guardian in July of 2003. Since then it's had notable reprints in Dark Beginning 2 in 2005, Battle Pack Epic Dawn in 2012, Battle Pack 2 War of Giants in 2013, Legendary Collection 3 in 2013, and Premium Gold 2 Return of the Bling in 2015. As for the ban list, it's bounced around quite a bit since its debut. It was first limited in the September 2005 ban lists, semi-limited in March of 2008, unlimited in March of 2009, and then finally limited again in March of 2011, where it has stayed up until the making of this video. A quick play spell card, its effect reads, target one face up monster on the field, change that target to face down defense position. It's a very simple effect, and far more powerful than one might think. It only targets one monster, and it only changes its battle position. At first glance, it's easily overlooked, but when you stop and consider it being a quick play spell, which is generally considered the most powerful type of card that one can have in this game, you can start to see the options the card gives you. Book of Moon can be used to change a powerful monster on your opponent's side of the field to defense position, so you can more easily run over it with one of your monsters. If your opponent tries to use Bottomless Trap Hole on something you summon, you can chain Book of Moon to set it, and now it's unaffected by Bottomless. If your opponent uses Effect Veiler on your monster, or something like Fiendish Chain, you can chain Book of Moon, and since your monster will be set, the card won't have a target anymore and your effect will go through. If your opponent has a real problem card like Denko Seka, you can use Book of Moon and give yourself access to any set spell or trap you might have, or if they have something like the Dijin Lockout, you can set it, and barring they don't save it with Trishula, you'll be able to special summon things again. And in specific decks, mainly Shadows or Prediction Princess, you can reset flip effect monsters to use them again. And that's just the things you could do on your turn. Were you to set it for your opponent's turn, it can be used to set an attacking monster in the battle phase, set a tuner monster before they can synchro summon, or any monster before they can exceed summon. Or if they've special summoned a monster from the extra deck or through a ritual spell, you can use Book of Moon and it won't be able to activate any ignition effect that it might have, which is pretty much any effect an exceed monster might have. When played right, a well-timed Book of Moon can stop an opponent's turn, particularly for decks that need their normal summon like Tellers, or in the case of Cleefort, you could set a monster before they can equip it with something like Sacrifice. The Book of Moon effect has seen play in other cards as well. The monster Tsukiyomi was a powerful effect monster in the GOAT format back in 2005, and Tsukiyomi was eventually banned due to her versatility in said format. Now, it can be argued that Book of Moon is just a less effective version of other cards. True, Book of Moon can stop an attack, but Mirror Force does the same thing, only better. True, Book of Moon can be used to stop an effect, but Forbidden Chalice is another quick play spell that, again, does it better. Bottomless Trap Hole or Compulsory Evacuation Device are better at stopping or blocking summons, but Book of Moon can do the same thing. The only difference is, Book of Moon does all of those things in one card, whereas those are cards that do only one thing in and of themselves. Even if it is somewhat less effective, any minus one that Book of Moon might give you could be equaled out thanks to running over the monster you set, or the effect that you've let go through thanks to chaining Book of Moon on your own monster. There are arguments that Book of Moon should come up from one up to two or even three, and it's pretty split down the middle as to whether or not you agree. Personally, I feel that it could come up to two, but I won't necessarily enjoy it too much. The card is versatile, it does stop plays when played right, and it is still played in more decks than you might think. All all in all, Book of Moon is a classic card that has seen play for over a decade and will most likely to continue to see play for years to come, especially if it does go higher than limited. And so, that's our look at single card discussions, Book of Moon. Stay tuned for our next video, and feel free to suggest some cards to review or deck profiles you'd like to see us post. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on YGO Strats. The card Tsukiyomi, mentioned in this video, is one of only six cards to have been at one point forbidden while now being unlimited. The other five cards are Injection Fairy Lily, United We Stand, Breaker the Magic Warrior, Call of the Haunted, and Spore. This has been YGO Strats with your Yu-Gi-Oh! Fun Fact of the Day.